and it's all been played on my double size map as well. I'm sure we'll get to see that soon if you haven't already seen it in my previous videos. Let's have a quick look in the hardware store here. See on the shelves there, there's some tin openers, some core bars, a couple of other things there, some screwdrivers probably if I look hard enough. Let's have a quick check in this cupboard, see if there's anything worth taking. Not really. I'm already over in combat, I don't really want to be picking up stuff that I don't really need. Let's dive in here quickly out the rain. Quick check this medicine cabinet, nope. Quickly dive around the corner here. We'll bypass these one indoors. We'll deal from them from within here. Saves we're getting wet and possibly getting a cold. Just keep standing near the doorway, see if we can lure them in. There we go. Back off from the door. Don't want to get surprised by any more that follow in behind. Seems like it's pretty much clear there. I'm sure there was three, but I don't know where the third one's got to. There he is down there. I'll just run up and around the corner here. Oh, there's a few zombies up here. Oh, I hope it's not a horde. Oh look there, me see. Get in, son, go on. No, no, where you going? Don't run in there. Oh well he's possibly ran to his death. If there's more zombies than that, he might not be able to find a way back out. I'm gonna dive round here for now. Finally, lure that zombie round. Where's he got to? Oh, still down there by the looks of it. Oh, there we go. That's him done. Let's jump out and deal with him. Oh, there we go. I knew it. As soon as I come out the door, it starts to rain. And he's not going to follow us up here now, is he? Come on, where you at? He's still down there, but where did the other one get to? Come on, stop raining. So as you can tell at the minute, this game is uh, quite determined to kill you, which I think is quite good. But they are looking at um, balancing the rain a bit better in the future updates. Got the golf club on there now. As you can see, it looks quite good in the hand. Nice sprite there. There we go, stop raining, let's get out there. That other zombie just seems to have disappeared. Anyways, let's get up here. Most of them other zombies seem to have cleared out. I wonder if that NPC managed to make it out alive. Oh, there's a zombie in here. As you can see, the golf club knocks them back, but it does take two hits. Take it carefully around these stairs. As you can see, I'm going to finish off this quest that's up in the top right hand corner. Go south to the, go south to the tower block and up to the top floor. Obviously I've been looting on the way, I've managed to pick up a bit of wood. I have been looking for a few bed sheets as well, but there's not many kicking around at the minute. I was trying to pick them up because I'm being a bit clever. I know what's coming next to me quest, obviously. As soon as I get to the top here, it's then going to tell us to go and find two planks of wood and two bed sheets. Now I think I've already got more than two planks of wood on us, or at least two planks anyways, so we'll bypass that straight away, but it should tell us to go and find two bed sheets. I'm just going to leave the quest there for now, as you can see it's going to pop up in a second, once I get to the door here. 
And yeah, I'm going to just leave that quest where it is for now, and I think we're going to try and dive down into the new part of the map. I say new part, it's been out for a couple of uh, updates now, as you can see, the top corner quest has just changed. Loot places nearby, find two bed sheets. we're not going to bother with that. But yeah, if you've been following me videos, you'll have already seen the double size map. That's the map I'm using here at the moment, because obviously the um, update for using lots of different maps all at the same time hasn't come out yet due to the unfortunate burglary that the Indie Stone suffered. But we do have the double size map, like I've said. We'll have a bit of food here, try and lose our exertion level, and we'll make our way back downstairs. I know he's all thinking, what you do when you're eating too much, you're just going to get hungry more often. But I'm not bothered. I like to get my energy levels up. Helps you move around a bit faster. At least I like to think it does anyways. You obviously move better, move faster, move sharper when you've had a meal. Got more energy inside of you. That door just been opened down on the street there. Loads of NPCs kicking around. We'll make the long journey back down the stairs. There's no lifts in the game yet. But again, that's something that will come with the new map transition update when it comes out. Because of the way the map transitions work, you should be able to do transitions within a map and make it look like you've got into a lift on one floor and got out on another floor. But obviously we'll see how that works when it does come out. Looks like the front door's been open again. I don't think I left it open anyways. Getting exerted again now. Plus there is still a few little niggly memory problems in this version of the game. They do look worse on fraps when you're using fraps to record. So they're not as bad when you're just playing the game as what they may look on this video. But we'll just bear with that. to five I'm quite tired I don't want to go to sleep just yet but I do think it'll be safe to stay here for the night before venturing down to the new part of town go to bed now you're just gonna wake up at two or three o'clock in the morning and you don't want to be running around the streets when it's dark outside there's a lot more zombies out there at night I've got half eight that'll do just have a quick snack before I go to bed so I don't wake up hungry not like you do anyways, but you know what I mean. And have a go, we'll go to sleep. You can still sometimes take quite some time to transition from night to day. But it gives you a nice little breather. Let you plan ahead for what you need to do when you wake up. Obviously we are going to see the um, the melee weapons and the rifles in more detail. And I think hopefully once we get down to this new part of the map we should see um, some of the drinks by ASX as well. The sprites for them are really cool. Here we go, we've woke up. Have a quick loot of this kitchen. Take up some, some of these non-heavy food items. Hopefully we'll find a base quite quickly once we get down to the new part of town. Dump some stuff in some cupboards. Oh crap, here we go. Bloody hell. Try and walk past a few. Save your sprinting for when you need it. I am over encumbered. Trying to move as fast as possible here as you can see. Getting exerted, slow down a bit when I can. Couple of zombies along here. <coughs> Should be able to deal with these before I dive into this wood hut at the top here. I think I'll uh, try and make that as my new base of operations for this game. For this playthrough anyways. 
It's only early in the morning. There doesn't seem to be that many kicking around. We'll dive in, drop some, drop some stuff off, and then deal with the zombies when we're a bit lighter. Couple coming straight in here. We'll deal with these first. I'm not sure the golf clubs the uh, really the weapon of choice for doing this, but never mind. Takes them down quite nicely, and it has got that knockback effect as well. Gives you a little bit of breathing space between swings. Here we go. We'll start dumping some of these heavier items. These guns weigh quite a bit, so we'll drop them straight away. We'll be coming back to them in a bit, though, definitely. Oh. Heard a zombie behind us there. I can't see them in my line of sight. But if you listen carefully, you should be able to hear them. There we go. Another one down. Let's drop all those bullets in there. not carrying too much anymore now, but I think there should be a few more things I can get rid of. Don't need that pen. Hide that in there. I've just realised I've got a can of Mountain Dew in the inventory there as well. Put a golf club in there, we've seen that now. Sorry, I said Mountain Dew, I should have said Hill Dew. That is the in-game name for obvious reasons. Let's see what else we can drop here. Just equip me spiked baseball bat. There we go, moving a lot more freely now. And all the zombies I didn't kill seem to have buggered off. A couple of crates down here, some bananas, some orange pop. Don't really need that, we'll leave them in there. Some revolver bullets, some M14 rifle ammo. Just leave all those in there, we'll have a look in this bedroom here and in the bathroom. Nothing in the medicine cabinet. I don't like that. That bed being right next to the back door. But never mind, dive out here, get rid of this zombie. As you can see by the little gold star up next to me baseball bat, my weapon's about halfway through its usefulness. So open that door and get rid of him. Nails on the floor there. And as you can see, this is a new part of town. This is, this is what I call the high street. It's got a few bigger buildings and shops on it. As you can see, next door up, new items do spawn in this part of the map. And here we go, look. Have a look in these uh, dispensers here. We've got some Diet Papsy, some Lilt, some more Hildew. Some Papsy, some Lucas 8 Casual. Loads of new brilliantly sprited drinks by ASX. Absolutely loved them from the first moment I've seen them. He's got plans to add uh, lots of different flavours of crisps and stuff into the game as well, as well as more food. But there you got some Fatter OJ, some Diet Popper, some Pocker Cola, Hill Dew, Lilt, Papsy, and Lucas 8 Casual. They all look absolutely brilliant as well, I love those mods. Let's bring some Lucas 8 casual. 